Hey, Charles. So good to see you. At, at conferences like this, we're back. We're in person. What's so important for you when you get to an event like this and, and you get to see folks and start interacting with them? I said, my favorite thing is this morning we just did the, the keynote and being able to finally see everybody as you're actually doing the presentation was such a big change. Because for two years now, I've been doing keynotes, staring at the wall in my, my bedroom or in my basement and not being able to see people react and paying attention. And it gives you so much more energy and just makes yeah. it so much easier to tell a great story, to see the crowd and the people and everybody being uh, so involved and engaged. It, it, there, there's something to be said about that energy afterwards, be able to talk to folks and, and get that rich interaction, the discussions that we, we haven't had when we're online and it's, it's a Teams call or, yep. or it's a broadcast on YouTube. Gosh. Now, and, and, and when I think about some of the cool things that folks can do with, with Power Platform, and, and they can grow their applications. Developers are out there and they're really latched onto this microservice, growing their application space. And, and there's so much more they could do if they start engaging Power Platform. What should we be saying to those developers and they can learn at events like this? Yep. The, the biggest thing I would say is you build microservices, you build APIs for them to be used, right? And one of the best ways to go use these things these days is in addition to professional development clients, have low code clients, have your Power App okay. go connect to your Azure API management instance, have your Power Automate workflow go connect through or use Power BI to connect to Azure Synapse for your, your data warehouse. And that ability to keep reusing and re-leveraging investments you've already made in APIs and microservices is how you can get the best return and go respond to really this unprecedented digital demand that every single company is going through right now. The, you're really speaking towards, I, I think of those little Excel sheets that folks have built, that they've scraped a website that, yep. that my team wrote, and, mm -hmm. and they're grabbing some data and putting it over here. And there's things now we can do to, to flow that data together, isn't there? Yep, yeah, exactly. And the, just like you can use the microservices and reuse and recycle those through your Power Platform solution, same thing's true for your data. Whether it's Power Automate, scraping from a legacy application or a web-based application, or even just ingesting using data flows, things from Excel or an Access database or even a Lotus Notes database if you have any oh of those God. floating around, which customers, believe it or not, do. Okay. Um, okay. You can go kind of bring them to the future and almost put like a mini API on top of it and a mini adapter so you can start to leverage it in your solutions. And the reality is no company gets to start from scratch. I mean, maybe in the very, if you're a startup or something, but if a company's been around for 10, 20, 30 years, there's a lot of this legacy stuff floating around. Power Platform makes it easy to connect and use all those artifacts and assets. So now when you talk about folks that have been around and have businesses for a while, I think about little organizations li like where my wife works. And it's just a, a couple of folks, they, they work at a farm, they don't really have a tech base. They, they, we have features uh, available to us, Power Apps, where we can go and log time off and see vacation time available. What do we say to little organizations that have a couple folks working for them that could really learn from and take advantage of some of these Power Apps that are available out there? Yeah, yeah so one of my favorite things about Power Apps is that it makes it so everybody can be a developer. And I really mean everybody. If you can okay. use PowerPoint and Excel, you can build a simple Power App. And I think every small business has the Excel spreadsheet or the clipboard and pen and paper that they use to go track simple processes. You can build a three, four, five screen Power App in no time. Yeah. And it, it may, like the first 15 minutes, it might feel like a lot, but okay. by an, an hour or two goes by, you'll feel really at home um, if you use any of the office products. So that's the idea is every single place and every single part of our economy and our world needs to be digitized. Mm -hmm. And you're only going to be able to do it by empowering everybody in the world to be a developer and go build that out, whether it's a small, medium business, all the way up to the big enterprise. Oh, very cool stuff. Charles, thanks so much for, for spending some time talking. Great to see yep. you. Yep, thanks I for having me. I look forward to seeing you in April. Yep, likewise. All right.